Okay, today the Eagle 3S uh, from Primalucci Lab arrived. Uh, it was purchased uh, a couple of weeks ago now from the uh, Practical Astronomy Show from 365. And uh, it arrived today. A couple of leads uh, to go with the uh, accessories there on a power. And uh, this is the item. As you can see, it's all packaged up. And there, Eagle 3S. It's an Intel 3 in core seventh generation chip, eight gigabytes of uh, memory, a 250 gigabyte uh, solid state drive uh, to power it. I uh, have been speaking to Prime Alushi Lab and the, uh, as it is a computer, the eight gigabytes is expandable as is the um, SSD as well. Um, so obviously if you've got the know-how you can uh, increase the uh, the memory and the gigabyte uh, ram random access memory of the computer uh, a couple of cables that we also brought um, from from there that's um, the 5.5 2.1 uh, cable and that's to power my uh, lakeside focuser and then we've got the uh, heq5 sky watcher uh, power lead also to power there. I've not got a camera power lead at the moment so I've still got my Canon 650D DSLR uh, which I hopefully this year will be replacing with some sort of CMOS stroke CCD camera. So this is what I'm looking to uh, replace the jungle of wires um, on the computer got the controller for my lakeside focuser and then we just got all the various other cables that uh, are powered through my uh, homemade power bank which uh, I take everywhere with me and then I've got a seven port USB powered hub um, which powers obviously the mount uh, the pole master my DSLR, the lakeside focuser, and also um, goes towards the guide scope as well, which uh, I've got on there with uh, an ASI 120 um, MCS, I believe it is, uh, camera on the uh, on the back. As I say, currently I've got the 650D um, Canon camera, but hopefully we'll be replacing that. Um, sometime later this year so this is the uh, the unit it came well packaged in a outer box from 365 today uh, a lot of uh, polystyrene inside to uh, ensure that it didn't get damaged in transit and we've got the eagle 3 guide um, that comes through there And there it is, all well packaged up. And we've got the two aerials in there. What else have we got? We've got a little uh, USB pen stick, which I assume has all the uh, software and everything on that I'll need. There was a selection of uh, bolts um, to go into uh, the unit as well. And we have the uh, power lead. Um, goes down to a cigarette lighter. Um, this comes with the unit with the own Prima Lucy Lab um, socket. The other two cables do not come with the uh, with the unit. You have to buy those separately. And also, there's uh, something else in there. Whatever that is, 
looks like some sort of fuse maybe who knows i'm sure that will come to uh, light a bit later on and this is the the unit if i can uh, it's come out it's all very well packaged and it's inside a ziplock bag First impressions, it's a very he well, heavy unit, very well made, got the uh, power in and power out sockets there, um, although it says 12 volts in, 16 amps, I am told by Prima Lucy Lab that whatever voltage you put in, you will receive out of the unit, so it's just a straight feedback out of whatever voltage you're putting in this is good for me because my skywatcher heq5 likes about 13.5 volts to run smoothly um, throughout anything less we tend to get the flickering red power light um, so from my power unit i can supply the mount with 13 and a half volts and all my other accessories with 12 so I've spoke to Prima Lucy Lab and they've said whatever I put in I can then bring out so one of the sockets will go out to power the mount but then all the other three sockets there will also go out and power my accessories so I've checked with Lakeside and they've confirmed that their uh, focuser unit will work with 13 and a half volts and I've noticed most ZWO cameras uh, work between 9 and 15 volts so it's all within range of uh, of most accessories, but obviously you would need to check with the uh, manufacturers as to what the uh, power requirements were. Um, but luckily, uh, 13 and a half volts in gives me 13 and a half volts out, which will be good for all of my accessories. Coming around on the top, we've got all the tapped holes for mounting um, direct to uh, your telescope and also you can guide or put your guide scope through the other holes on the bottom various configurations of holes there and uh, as you saw earlier all the bolts are supplied by Prima Lucy Lab and um, there's two on that side USB 3 sockets and there we've got four USB 2 sockets and the uh, various lights I assume that was with power I presume where the SSD is working and uh, not sure what the uh, the other one is I'm told that the difference between the Eagle 3 and the Eagle 2 it's a later generation i3 um, so it's a better processor uh, not to say that the i2 um, i3 um, is is poor, but uh, they have improved the uh, the Intel Core i3 um, chip inside. Moving round to the other side, we've got uh, again. Oh, there's some power lights, uh, power on off button, and then you've got three RCA sockets, and they will take um, the RCA plugs from your from the basically the uh, due bands you could just plug straight into there so they do not need to go into a due controller this is naught to 12 volts out just because i'm putting 13 and a half amp, uh, volts into the unit doesn't mean i'll get 13 and a half volts out of here i'm told by prima lucy lab this is 12 volts out but you can alter the voltage between 0 and 12 um, and that will allow you to increase and decrease the heat to um, the dew band so you can control it without a, uh, a, a separate controller um, to control that Prima Lucy Lab also do the eco unit um, I think uh, that's another attachment that will connect to this uh, Eagle 3 and the ECCO will then take into account the 
dew point and the temperatures on the night and will automatically alter your voltages to uh, make sure you've got um, quite optimised power um, to the heat bands. Moving down, we've got two HDMIs and we've also got two further USB 3 sockets and the LAN cable. And the long uh, black thing above is a fan. I'm told that um, the unit does generate its own heat. And obviously when it's working hard, you'll feel the fan will kick in and uh, cool the unit down. They do say, Prima Lucy Lab though, that this will not cause any vibrations uh, to any equipment that's attached to it. Um, so, you know, that's proved to be just seen when we get using it. But they do say that, uh, you know, it is a very quiet fan and it will not create you any vibrations through uh, for when you're guiding or anything like that. So that was basically the unit. As I said, it's uh, very well made. It's fairly heavy, um, sturdy belled, and um, you can, as I've said, connect your guide scopes to it. And I'm told there'll be no flexure. You can uh, get very secure fittings um, to the uh, the top of the unit, and there should be no movement whatsoever um, in relation to that. It isn't waterproof, I'm told, or completely dustproof, um, but the, when it's operating, it does create its own heat. And Prima Lucy Lab state that that is enough to prevent any due issues um, because of the heat that uh, the unit generates itself. So uh, all in all, it's a fantastic uh, little unit. It will solve all your power requirements and connectivity uh, cables. So you can uh, obviously mount this on your scope all your cables can go directly into the unit so they're not going to get snagged around your uh, mount when you start to uh, you know mess about and uh, especially with a Meridian flip or anything like that you're not going to get any cable snagging or anything like that so hopefully um, I'll have it connected up in a few days time and uh, we'll have a play with it we'll try and uh, get the software loaded onto it um, I'm told there are two modes. There's the Wi-Fi mode where it creates its own Wi-Fi uh, hotspot. So then you can connect um, any phone, iPad, laptop, any device um, can be connected directly to the uh, unit through its own Wi-Fi hotspot. You can also, there is another mode where you can connect it to your home network. Um, and when you're doing that, you can then download whatever software that you need to use whilst you're astro imaging, um, such as uh, Carte du Seal, Stellarium, whichever um, software you use for your um, planetarium type software. I'll be downloading um, my other uh, programs to it, PhD2, uh, that can get downloaded, APT to control my uh, Canon camera, and also, hopefully, um, it'll be controlling my CCD or CMOS camera um, as and when I get it. So you can control those or download those directly to the unit. And you could also do that, I'm told, through the LAN cable connected direct to your router. Uh, you then just um, connect your laptop or whatever unit that you use. Uh, to connect to the internet to uh, download all those items towards the uh, the Eagle 3 core unit. So overall, very impressed. It's not cheap. It is a considered purchase. Um, this unit was um, £1,300. The i5 um, with a slightly bigger um, SSD hard drive, I believe. Uh, they retail at about £1,800 in the UK. Um, and then you can go down from the i3, from the Eagle S, down to a quad core processor. That was a little bit cheaper. And then just down to, um, I think it's a dual core processor, um, which I think retails at about £900. But, as I said, it's considered purchase. Um, 
everybody I've spoken to online uh, rave about how fantastic they are and it sorts all your solutions with your power um, supply to all your accessories and obviously your mount and then also everything that you use for your astrophotography can be controlled just through that you can then control the unit through whatever you want to do through your laptop or through your iPad no more cables or anything like that running to the mount no snagging errors no USB uh, cables coming loose having to shut down and uh, recalibrate everything and reconnect everything up so uh, overall it is uh, a fantastic piece of kit that's just reminded me of one other thing that Prima Lucy Mab did state that um, the USB uh, connectors here are switched. I believe these four are the are the switch ones, um, so you can switch on and off any accessory through the software that uh, comes with the uh, with the unit. I don't believe the other USBs are, um, but at least you've got four where you can power on and off uh, your accessories and they'll also remember um, their states when the unit's powered down so when when you come to power it back up it will just revert back to the previous settings that you had so when i get up and running as i said hopefully um, within the next few days i'll try and do another video in regards to the software and how we control the unit but overall my impressions are very good it's a fantastic unit very good looking unit smaller than I thought it was going to be which is not a bad thing and that will allow me then to uh, mount this on top of the scope and uh, as I said no more snagging issues um, from now on so um, any questions I'm gonna post this on uh, on YouTube there'll also be a link on my uh, Facebook page um, I'll try and answer them I'm not an expert on it um, but I just thought I'd post this because, as I've said, when I was looking to purchase one of these, not many people actually posted anything on um, to say exactly what each socket did, etc. Um, so um, just talking to Prima Lucy Lab um, on Facebook Messenger, um, they would come back normally within a couple of hours, an extremely good customer service um, and uh, answer any questions that uh, you can have in respect to the unit. So, uh, yeah, looking forward to using it and uh, look forward to posting my uh, next video in a few days' time.